the Bible Flashback. We're ready for some more Bible trivia questions. Are you? For the next two days, we will ask questions about the life of Jesus. So, let's get to it. Question number one. What are the names of the four books of the Gospels? A. Matthew and Mark. B. Titus and Timothy. C. Luke and John. Or D. Peter and Philip. Answer two. Like, put two answers this time. Because it's four. So there's, yeah, there's four books in the Bible, and there's two in each question. So make sure to put two. Yeah. What are the names of the four books of the Gospels? A, Matthew and Mark, B, Titus and Timothy, C, Luke and John, or D, Peter and Philip? Put two letters down. The answer is A, Matthew and Mark, and C, Luke and John. Question number two. The angel Gabriel visited the priest Zechariah and told him that he and his wife would have a baby boy. Because Zechariah didn't believe Gabriel, what one thing did the angel take away from the priest until the baby was born? A, his riches. B, his voice. C, his wife. Or D, his robe. I'll read it again. The angel Gabriel visited the priest Zechariah and told him that he and his wife would have a baby boy. Because Zechariah didn't believe Gabriel, what one thing did the angel take away from the priest until the baby was born? A, his britches. B, his voice. C, his wife. Or D, his robe. The answer is B, his voice. Next question, question number three. When the angel Gabriel told Mary she would be the mother of Jesus, she was what one thing? A, she was worried. B, she was wrestling. C, she was willing. Or D, she was weary. I read it again. When the angel Gabriel told Mary she would be a mother of Jesus, she was what one thing? A, worried. B, wrestling. C, willing or d weary the answer is c willing question number four john the baptist called jesus the what of god who would take away the sins of the world a lamb b lion c wolf or d Dove. I'll read it again. John the Baptist called Jesus the what of God who would take away the sins of the world? A. Lamb of God. B. Lion of God. C. Wolf of God. Or D. Dove. So lamb, lion, wolf, dove. The answer is A. Lamb. Question number five. Which one of the following is not true about Matthew? A follower of Jesus who wrote the Gospel of Matthew. So Matthew wrote the Gospel of Matthew. Probably because he had the same name. Whatever. A, he kept track of taxes. B, he was also known by the name of Levi. C, Jesus ate at his house. Or D, he hesitated to follow Jesus. Which one is not true? I'll read it again. Which one of the following is not true about Matthew, a follower of Jesus who wrote the Gospel of Matthew? A. He kept track of taxes. B. He was also known by the name of Levi. C. Jesus ate at his house. Or D. He hesitated to follow Jesus. Which one is it? The answer is D. He hesitated to follow Jesus. That is false, because he's a follower of Jesus. Question number six. True or false? A short man named Zacchaeus climbed an oak tree so he could get a better look at Jesus. Is it true or false? A short man named Zacchaeus climbed an oak tree so he could get a better look at Jesus. Is it true? Is it false?
The answer is, sorry, <laughs> the statement is false. Let me climb a sycamore tree. Sycamore tree. Instead of an oak tree. Question, Question number, number seven. Zacchaeus was a greedy tax collector who cheated people. What two things did he promise to do after he met Jesus? A. Give back his wealth to the poor. B. Give back four times he had cheated people, the amount he had cheated people. C. Work seven years for those he cheated. Or D. Give Jesus all his money. I'll read it again. What two things did Zacchaeus promise to do after he met Jesus? A. Give half his wealth to the poor. B. Give back four times the amount that he cheated people. C. Work seven years for those he cheated. Or D. Give Jesus all his money. The answer is A. Give half of his wealth to the poor. And B. Give back four times the amount he had cheated people. Question number eight. In this message, Jesus told us to blank those who hate us. Fill in the blank. In this message, Jesus told us to blank those who hate us. The hint is the answer rhymes with shove. It rhymes with shove. The answer is love. So Jesus told us to love those who hate us. Question number nine. Fill in the blank. God wants you to trust him, which means to count on him for everything. When you do, the Bible says you will have perfect blank. Hint, the answer rhymes with fleece. It rhymes with fleece. God wants you to trust him, which means to count on him for everything. When you do, the Bible says you will have perfect blank. Rhymes with fleece. The answer is peace. You will have perfect peace when you follow God. <laughs> Question number 10. In the wilderness, Jesus used what one powerful weapon to defeat the devil's temptations? A, his power. B, a sword. C, God's word. Or D, holy water. I'll read it again. In the wilderness, Jesus used what one powerful weapon to defeat the devil's temptations? A, his power. B, a sword. C, God's word. Or D, holy water. The answer is C, God's word. Question number 11. Okay. The Bible says God's word is alive and powerful. That's that it's sharper than what one thing? A, a sword with two edges. B, a spear. C, an arrow. Or D, a knife. The Bible says God's word is alive and powerful. That it's sharper than what one thing? A, a sword with two edges. B, a spear. C, an arrow. Or D, a knife. answer is A, a sword with two edges. So God's word is more powerful than a sword with two edges. That's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Question number 11. 12. Oh, I'm sorry. 12. Question number 12. It's okay. Faith in Jesus and focus on him are very powerful tools. For it was both of these that kept Peter doing what one thing. Was it A, fishing on his boat, B, walking on water, C, pulling up the anchor, or D, riding out of the storm? I'll read it again. Faith in Jesus and focus on him are very powerful tools. For it was both of these that kept Peter doing but one thing. A, fishing on his boat, B, walking on water, C, pulling up the anchor, or D, riding out of the storm. The 
The answer is B, walking on water. Did you get that one right? All right, next question. Question number 13. Fill in the blank. When Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, the cheering people threw blank branches onto the road. Hint, the answer rhymes with calm. When Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, the cheering people threw blank branches onto the road. Rhymes with calm. The answer is palm. It's because palm rhymes with calm. Palm branches. <laughs> Question number 14. Fill in the blank. Jesus said you can move a mountain if you have faith even as small as a blank seed. Hint, the answer rhymes with custard. It rhymes with custard. Fill in the blank. Jesus said you can move a mountain if you have faith even as small as a blank seed. And it rhymes with custard. The answer is mustard. So even if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Question number 15. Jesus wants you to be the blank of the earth. And it rhymes with malt. Jesus wants you to be the blank of the earth. And it rhymes with malt. The, ans the answer rhyme, I'm sorry. The answer is salt. Jesus wants you to be the salt of the earth. Question number 16, fill in the blank. You are the blank of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. And the answer rhymes with sight. You are the blank of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. It rhymes with sight. The answer is light. So you are the light of the world, but we are the light of the world. Question number 17. In Revelation, Jesus is called the blank of the tribe of Judah. And it rhymes with Brian. Brian. In Revelation, Jesus is called the blank of the tribe of Judah. Rhymes with Brian. Rhymes with Brian. The answer is lion. Question number 18. 18. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, who walks right by an injured man lying on the road? A, two disciples. B, two women. C, two religious leaders. Or D, two farmers. And you can only pick one. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, who walks right by an injured man lying on the road? A, two disciples, B, two women, or C, two, relig C, two religious leaders, or D, two farmers. The answer is C, two religious leaders. It's surprising because if they're religious leaders and they're religious, shouldn't they help him? It's sad. Fill in the blank. After telling the Good Samaritan story, Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a blank to the man who was beaten by the robbers? And the answer begins with the letter N. It begins with the letter N. I'll read it again. Fill in the blank. After telling the Good Samaritan story, Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a blank to the man who was beaten by the robbers? What's the hint? It's the, the answer begins with the letter N. Rhymes, what? <laughs> begins with the letter N. The answer is neighbor. Did you get that one right? Which of these three do you think was a good neighbor to the man who was beaten by the robbers? That's what Jesus asked. Question number 20, our last question. Thanks for sticking with us this far. True or false? The lesson Jesus wants you to learn from the Good Samaritan story is that you are to show kindness to everyone, no matter who they or you are. 
I'll read it again, true or false. The lesson Jesus wants you to learn from the Good Samaritan story is that you are to show kindness to everyone, no matter who they or you are. The answer is true. All right, that concludes our Bible flashback trivia question for today. I hope you will have a good Friday and do something kind for someone today. All right, bye. See you tomorrow.